Someone is alone and indecisive when it comes to your energy. This is someone who feels like the door is closed. Hmm. For many of you, this is someone who thought the grass was greener or they're just not on top of the world anymore. When it comes to sneaky behaviors, a sneaky link, friends with benefits, something is just not at its peak anymore and this energy is wanting to recharge but this energy is feeling alone or this energy has purposely put themselves in solitude hmm. yeah. for many of you this is someone who needs to relocate but they're indecisive about it they're wanting to recharge something with you as well but they feel like you think something is just friends with benefits or this energy was just using you for your resources but whatever the case this energy feels like the door is closed and they feel like something is just not the same not with you or wherever they are for many of you, this is someone who has closed their heart or they feel like your heart is closed and this is why they're feeling alone. But this is someone who is not willing to step up hmm, when it comes to secrets or really what they yearn for is good news. Good news to them is you opening up, allowing access, but this energy is still sitting on secrets. Someone's getting bored when it comes to a third party, a false environment, or even their player ways. Yet this energy is not wanting to chase. They're frustrated. Someone's frustrated when it comes to you no longer being generous. They're really upset. But they're still leaving something to the imagination when it comes to their frustrations and not wanting to give in to you. I feel... For whatever reason, this energy may be looking for a reason to be upset or cross with you. Mm. But I feel their frustrations are also coming from something else. Someone is upset that you're no longer being generous. You have your heart on lock. Or they're pretending not to be bothered by something that is definitely bothering them. This is someone who doesn't want to chase something with you, but they're hoping you're open. Hmm. Someone's hoping you're open after them being off-putting or sneaky. Whatever it is, there's a definite lack of a give and receive. This is why many of you are holding back or allowing something to go where it leads. Someone is wanting to reach out to you, but I also feel this energy is powerless. Powerless when it comes to cycles. This energy has a lot of trust issues, so it seems they could be ignoring you. Someone is ignoring you because they feel like you're unbothered or letting go. So I feel like they're doing something somewhat of a tit for tat, you know. Just because you're acting a certain way or they feel you're acting a certain way, they're trying to give you that same energy in return, but it's not giving the same vibe as you cutting them off or being unbothered by their energy. For many of you, this is someone who is trying to ignore you or ignore the fact that you let go. Hmm. They're still trying to understand something when it comes to you. This energy is trying to understand why you have no sympathy. With them trying to figure something out. But this is someone who is just not reading between the lines when it comes to a wedge they put between the two of you. Just so they can experience the unknown. Now this energy is experiencing karma. Wondering why. Someone is experiencing karma, all because they're emotionally immature, confused, confused when it comes to addictions. This is someone who cares deeply for you, but they're sitting in a space of denial or disguise, still sitting in sneaky behaviors, thinking something is worth, worth it when it's clearly not. This is someone who's being very emotionally charged trying to hold you to something that is completely pointless, made up, or even justified in their head. Because even though you've been generous with this energy, they're still in a space of being frustrated with you. All because they feel powerless. One more card here. Holy Spirit, bring the messages. Someone's sitting in a space where they're not sure how to take things with you, but they're not taking things well. Hmm. 
You know, someone's not taking things well when it comes to drama. A wedge between the two of you. Or the fact that they're a fraud and they know it. This is someone who has unfinished business with you. But I feel this is someone who caused something to fail because of their games, their sneaky behaviors. They caused a wedge to be bigger than it was before. Because in so many ways, there was always a lack when it comes to him. Let's see some more energy here, Holy Spirit. What are the messages here for the collective? What are the cards here that this represent the energy of the light? Someone feels like you see them as a fraud. Possibly because they are all about the game, all about the reward, all about what they can receive. But the fact that you're no longer giving in or compromising, someone is going to have to deal with their own drama. Hmm. For many of you, this is someone who is definitely dealing with a lot of tension behind the scenes. And for many of you, you definitely dodged a bullet. You dodged a bullet when it comes to someone who is always seeking attention. You're cautious when it comes to this energy who is living a double life. Or just behind the mask. This is someone who is lying. This is someone who is telling both face lies when it comes to you. This is someone who is insinuating that you have fake love. This is someone who is wanting attention in the worst way. But they're wearing a mask when it comes to you. Dodging a bullet they're projecting. And whatever lies they're telling. These are crimes they committed these are things they're guilty of this is someone who's accusing you of not loving them hmm. they're gaslighting you this is someone who's gaslighting you when they're um, emotionally unavailable this is someone who burned a bridge with you and not the other way around this is someone who has become delusional to what they vandalized believing they could talk their way out of something this energy was definitely confused to unfinished business or even a third party phantom or a phantom third party someone is definitely emotionally unavailable all because of something they chose hmm. but they're insinuating that's your energy but someone's just seeking attention because someone knows Without a shadow of a doubt, they were the ones gaslighting you. But as I said before, the birds are chattering and people are talking about this energy being irresponsible with other people's time, love, help, energy. This energy is very delusional and confused to what they've put others through. There's resentment for their karma. Someone is accusing you of fake love because they're resenting anyone and everyone for their karma. This energy isn't drowning in emotions. Lovesick energy. Waiting on that call. But I feel something else is long overdue. This is someone who has very childish tendencies, ways of thinking when it comes to an apology. This energy is just a brick wall. This is someone who's a brick wall when it comes to telling the truth or even being easy to love because this is someone who is definitely guarded when it comes to their heart. This is someone who is accusing you of things that they are guilty of because in so many ways they rejected you. Someone pushed you to a limit or pushed you to a place where there was no return. I feel like this is someone who pushed you to a place where it was hard to understand or even love this energy. Many of you had to set some boundaries when it comes to someone who has some type of complex, superior complex. And they're just used to destroying things. Not just with you, but in many facets of life. As I sense this energy is accusing you of fake love because that's the energy that they gave. This is someone who is confused by their own gains. They rejected you and they're accusing you of the energy mm, of playing games with them or being childish. But this is someone who knows they owe you an apology for all the fake love that they gave. Mm. Because for many of you, the love is genuine. And in so many ways, it will never be the same. For many of you, this is someone who is playing hide and seek or just playing being stubborn with you. But in so many ways, this energy is lost. 
upset knowing they broke the trust. Upset because you're no longer playing a role. For many of you, this energy sits in cloudy judgment, all because of their insecurities. Antisocial energy is almost like watching a car crash. It's almost hard to watch, but it's painful to go through with someone you care for. But I feel this is someone who's being antisocial with you because they know what they've done, yet they're projecting their careless energy onto you. For many of you, you've been dealing with someone who's in denial about how things failed or even how things ended. This energy is in denial and claiming you never even loved them or cared just so they can write you off as a problem or forget all about you. Since in so many ways, they feel like there's no way back in. But I feel their refusal to acknowledge you or having this guarded heart has only made them think more about you, what you've done for them. But the fact that they have burned a bridge, it only brings them back to a state of resentment or being lovesick over you. For many of you, this is someone who doesn't really know how to react to what they feel. This is why it's coming out as a state of resentment instead of an apology. Someone is drowning in their emotions and dealing with their karma. One more card here from this deck. This is someone who knows they gaslighted you trying to play a game of cat and mouse. This energy thought they would gain something from this runner chaser dynamic, but they feel something when it comes to love. They definitely ruined something by thinking something was just a game. Hmm. Now this energy is lovesick, lying, and still gaslighting you, insinuating you're the one who broke the chain, broke the trust. Yet this is someone who is emotionally unavailable, knowing they gaslighted you. Hmm. Let's get some more energy here. In fact, it seems they have chosen to take the pity route here. As I said before, this is someone who is sitting in a space of petty tendencies. This is how they move, as this is someone who still moves this way because they're still not true to self. They're still trying to throw themselves a pity party, trying to convince themselves you were in the wrong for not letting them play with your heart and your mind. This is why they're saying you're not loyal or you were being fake with them, but I feel like this energy could be receiving karma for trying to do some underhanded things with you, especially when it comes to a phantom third party or burning a bridge, lying, being emotionally unavailable, playing this cat and mouse game that is reckless, but I feel for many of you, you definitely dodged a bullet when it comes to someone who is still playing games when it comes to life, manipulating facts, telling half-truths. This is someone who is still playing dumb when it comes to a close connection. Someone knows they were pulling the strings when it comes to ghosting you. They ghosted you for the attention of friends, karmics, pretending to be too busy. Someone thought that you would never break the bond or you can never prove something. Hmm. Someone was playing dumb to something, playing dumb to the chase, playing dumb to gaslighting you, to playing dumb to the lives, the half-truths. This is someone who knows there is more to the story and they know that they are not who they claim they are, whether that is with a third party or even with you. This is someone who is always twisting the facts or twisting a narrative. This is someone who always comes and camouflage. This is someone who is just not telling the truth. Hmm. This is someone who is not telling the truth because they feel like everyone wins in the end, but it's only causing something to be a long journey while they're trying to smooth talk their way through some type of illusion. Someone walked away and took the bait or they were just not ready to give in. So they became desperate, created sacrifice when it comes to home or twin flame or even a separation where they now sit in a space of regret. Someone is sitting in a space of regret when it comes to going back and forth with you or just not following their heart. This is someone who was guarded to an apology, 
playing dunks or half truths, trying to manipulate something when it comes to turning their back, hoping you react. This is someone who couldn't give an apology. Nothing that was authentic anyways, because they're still trying to blame you for the fall. Hmm. But I feel something unexpected is about to take place that causes them to question everything because you're not playing hard to get because it just might be too late to transform because many of you are already fed up. Fed up and exhausted when it comes to someone who is always choosing convenience of a heart. For many of you, this is someone who is staying out of convenience when it comes to a situation where they're still playing dumb to have truths or even being manipulated or being the manipulator. They're not protecting themselves. And they're not protecting themselves. They're cre creating more damage. They're doing something at night, not doing something from the heart. But someone's about to get caught when it comes to something that they're just stringing along. They're wanting to go something, wanting to tap into friends, but they're also saying these friends are not real friends. They thought they were fooling the both of you or fooling everyone, but this is someone who is getting nowhere. <laughs> no travel, no movement, no reconciliation, no self-care. Career and finances are a mess. This is someone who is still in the dark and not following their heart. This is someone who is allowing their mind to lead wherever it leads, still not having a heart-to-heart. -heart. Mm. Sneaky behaviors when it comes to rivals. This is someone who is definitely giving in to addictions, but this is causing something to be stalled. I feel this is someone who also needs to speak on something that involves the innocence. There's, they're not fighting for it. They're not fighting for the innocence. This is a divine intervention for someone who is playing dumb to a situation, talking about half-truths, claiming that you're the one who was giving fake love when that is their energy. Always choosing out of convenience. But now that you're exhausted and this separation seems like it's final, someone is being petty or and even dishonest because of the company they keep. But it's almost like they expect where they are to be some type of final destination where they've become a little bitter about becoming someone you used to know. Let's get some more energy here. For many of you, this is someone who has some very childish tendencies and this is why they can't give in to the regret. And another reason why the regret has somehow turned into some type of resentment instead of remorse this is someone who's just not playing a smart game when it comes to you this energy knows that you care but you're you're no one's fool you're no one's fool when it comes to the manipulation the half truths them playing dumb to this runner chaser dynamic or even the karma they've stepped into for many of you someone's going through a state of wow hmm. We're going to tap into that. Let's get some more energy out here. For me or you, this is someone still playing dumb, petty games. Hmm. This is someone who's claiming it's just not their fault. This is energy knows that you have a good heart, but they're just being petty with you. So for many of you, this energy is sitting in a space where they're kind of depressed. There's a lot of karma. There's a lot of loss. They're trying to pretend that their sacrifices don't mean nothing. They're trying to appear unbothered, but they're very affected behind the scenes. They're playing dumb to the runner chaser cat and mouse games. And they're also playing dumb, dumb to their petty energies to help true someone manipulating them. This third party dynamic or them being guarded when it comes to their heart. This energy is so low brow or sitting in this low vibrational energy that they could be having some hygiene energy or hygiene issues not taking care of self people around them notice this it's not so good someone is just kind of down in the dumps but still not tapping into what they feel this energy is still sabotaging so many things because they're still trying to stick to a script Someone is still trying to stick to lies that have already been proven to be unbelieved or made up in every way, but due to their twisted beliefs, someone feels like they know what they're doing. They know everything. This is big-headed energy. 
big headed energy of someone who is very touchy about sticking to the script and pretending these lies aren't lies at all when in fact they are this energy is pretending they are telling half truths and there's no harm in that but they're living in a fantasy this energy can be very vain when it comes to unfiltered chaos but in so many ways they're doing it unapologetically no shame no pain they're hiding everything acting like you're a stranger this energy is living in vain faking it pretending to be cool about something when they're actually not but I feel being in bad company is leading them nowhere because this energy is putting on a front oh. so this energy is definitely in bad company when it comes to energy surrounding them this is someone who needs to do an upgrade when it comes to the company they keep because it's dead weight I feel in so many ways this energy is still faking and pretending they don't know you at all because they're easily misled, easily guided in the wrong direction. Even though this energy knows they misjudged you, they're still using the resources of others, still in bad company, and still acting fake for cloud. Uncle, uh, this is someone who needs to stop pretending. Someone needs to stop pretending to be awakened hmm. someone needs to stop pretending to be awakened to a situation because something is like a ticking time bomb hmm. I feel something is about to become a disastrous situation or there will be a disastrous outcome for someone who is trying to chastise you or push you into some type of submission I feel this is someone who is big headed about a situation because they are clearly unawakened hmm. not seeing something for what it is but I feel they were clearly getting the signs to do so hmm. but this energy took a chance as I sense nothing from nothing definitely leaves nothing this is someone who played a game that definitely backfired but the fact that they were big headed about this thinking that they could just slide on something move back in or play pretty games and you forget the details but I feel you've forgotten nothing as I said before in the reading you are no one's fool hmm. let's get some more energy here hmm. making you wait has definitely become a heavy burden for someone hmm a waiting game when it comes to a naked truth. This is someone who had commis has commitment issues, a hardened heart when it comes to telling a truth. This is someone who ha plays a lot of mind games when it comes to a third party, not just you. This is someone who has a heavy burden when it comes to addictions, codependent ways. This is why they have made you wait. But I feel in so many ways they know the only way out is the naked truth. But I feel someone is still hiding behind a hardened heart thinking they know the way refusing to open their eyes to a truth this is someone who has misplaced truth by walking a very thin line i feel this hardened heart has definitely exhausted them and for many of you they are suffering in silence be because of their denial the fact that their communication is a train wreck this is someone who is just not using their head over heart. As it seems, they're still being a train wreck by playing mindless games, not communicating their codependent ways. Someone is still heavy with burdens. Mm. And something is definitely about to mm. reach a peak, crash and burn. But whatever the case, they're already sitting in a space of real regret due to something that is already distorted with karmic ties. Karmic ties, casual flings. But whatever the case, someone definitely has vulnerable issues when it comes to chaos and confusion because they have still yet to find themselves. There's still selfishness of someone who has lost themselves by living a lie living and lying and being mindless when it comes to their fear of love because this is someone who caused something to collapse they're they are the reason for a downfall 
all because of their two basic ways of resentment or just being a master manipulator. Someone is a nervous wreck due to their insecurities or the fact that a cycle has ended and they can't escape their reality. The reality of you having a change of heart. You having a change of heart for someone who is living a lie and distorted when it comes to their mindless ways. Many of you had to allow this train ha this train wreck to happen. You had to allow something to crash and burn because someone couldn't use their head over their heart. In fact, for many of you, you feel like they have a, a hardened heart. And you're over the fact that they can't just be real with you. But the fact that they're in the energy of believing they're too big to fail or they just have this big-headed way about themselves, it will only lead to a real sense of regret. A regret they can't shake or break, only survive or get through. One more card here from this deck here. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the reading, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. Let's get one more card here from this deck. As I said before, second time out, this has to be your energy as well. So for many of you, this is someone who knows they pushed you to a space of mental exhaustion. This is where the real regret stems from. But the fact that they are unawakened and still sitting in these big-headed ways to come your way with the real truth, the naked truth, they have put themselves in a position to be awakened by their karma. Mm -hmm. All because of their lack of truth, commitment issues, playing mindless games, these addictions, or even pretending you're a stranger, this bad company has definitely put them in a position where they're still denying their heart and still playing games with life. Hmm. Living a lie? Hmm. Misrepresenting self? Still hiding behind a mask? Let's get some more energy. This is someone who has lost themselves in this petty game they like to play. And from what I can see, this energy had plenty of signs not to do this, not to take things this far or push things to this level. Hmm. So for any of you, I feel like something became a heavy burden because they just stopped reaching out. There was no real reason, no rhyme or reason, no words, no nothing. No actions that made any sense. This is someone who's just juggling and deflecting because they don't know how to authentically connect with you. Someone doesn't know how to be naked when it comes to the truth. They're always guarded, they're always protected, always deflecting. Someone is always deflecting, still sitting in a facade this is someone who's still spending more time with others, acting very secretive when it comes to their ways, their addictions. Someone has shut you out because they're hiding some truths, facts. When it comes to a bad company, someone is pretending you're a stranger just to keep up some type of facade. Someone feels like you're guarding their heart guarding your heart or this energy is deceiving you by claiming you are guarding your heart but it's all part of the game this is a double standard a double standard when it comes to love this energy is very indecisive not knowing whether to love or hate you this energy wants to check on you but they know they screwed something up by causing something to be an unhealthy relationship or being too proud but I feel this is someone who is heavily affected by parting ways with you but they're just too content or comfortable with putting on a show instead of letting their guard down instead of being so prideful this is someone who is self in self-destructive mode when it comes to a thirst trap, a third party there's a lot of tension behind the scenes because of what they're trying to avoid but whatever the case they're bored but they're trying to play cool, acting cold towards you because they feel like they already lost you. 
For many of you feel like this energy has no good intentions when it comes to love and loyalty. But I feel that's something they'll soon regret. Because something's not right. When it comes to their sexual activity, their choices, or the fact that they just want you to make the first move. But I feel it took you a long time to heal or fall back from this. Even having questions that may never get answered. But I feel what they're about to go through. It's going to push them to a place where the love, the loyalty that they didn't give is something that they're going to wish they gave to you abundantly. But I feel right now this is someone who is still sitting in a space where they feel like they're getting the best of you. I feel this is someone who is hurting you or trying to hurt you through a third party or through silence or some type of distance. But I feel they're going to be regretting that very soon. Because whatever they're avoiding or trying to put some type of show on for, deflecting, hmm, it's going to come back on them. Someone's still trying to play it cool, but someone knows there's tension behind the scenes. There's tension behind the scenes and someone is regretting this fact already that they didn't check on you. Because how can they make a move now? Someone knows that you're smarter than to let them just come back in and pretend they were never guarded towards you. When in fact this energy didn't make the right choices because they didn't feel it was their responsibility to care. Because in so many ways this energy was deflecting, sitting in a space of facade, thinking they had options. For many of you, this is someone who made you wait because they were digging into others' resources. Now, that's become a heavy burden. Hmm. Because they know they can't tell the truth of what's really going on. Because they know it'll be the final nail in the coffin. Because in so many ways, this energy thought that they were stepping into something else different, something more productive. But I feel something was not clear to them. It was just an illusion, a facade, a pipe dream that they fell into, and now this real regret will be settling in. Hmm. Wow. And it's definitely something that's either going to break them or give them a breakthrough. Because now that they see that they're standing alone and being a fool, someone is missing you. I feel like this energy is missing you after playing so many games and giving in to their impulses, yet I sense you must be careful. This energy is sitting in a space of regret due to what they don't have. This is possibly why this energy was trying to look for a reason, stop reaching out, hmm. looking for a reason to hate you because trust me, they have no reason to play these games. But the fact that you're more careful with who you're feeding into and who you're giving your energy to, it's caused them to be more difficult, more evasive. In so many ways, I feel like this energy has become more difficult because low-key, they're in the worst season of their life. Where they can only bring more questions, yet never any answers. Let's get one more card here from this day. Yeah, so we're still playing it cool playing it cool because they already feel they've lost you. This is someone who feels like it's real difficult to be loyal or figure out who to be loyal to, but I feel they're about to find that out this season. Someone's about to find that out this season when it comes to the difference between the real and the fake, because if they don't by now, trust me, they will soon. Follow that Holy Spirit. Thank you. Confirmation on the spirit. Wow, escaping. Wow. So the cards we have here is escaping self growth, detaching. Someone detached from you just to go to a situation that required less of them. So they drifted apart. They disconnected from you because they couldn't stay focused when it comes to evolving or ascending this is someone who pushed you away hmm. now they could be stuck in limbo when it comes to an awakening there's obstacles because of the silence there's challenges when it comes to someone who knows they screwed you over 
This is someone who is going through an awakening when it comes to soul growth. This is someone who is trying to avoid something by pushing you away so they became silent. Now this energy is stuck in limbo when it comes to detaching. Illusions. Cloudy judgment. Mm. Now there's just hurdles when it comes to someone who is just being childish and playing games. I feel like this is someone who is now asking why when they were the ones who were in denial when it comes to cycles and ego and i feel this energy rem reminiscing about which way to go someone is still somewhat holding on clinging obsessing thinking about returning but this energy is still clinging to the ego clinging to the ego while reminiscing this energy is still not making choices that make any sense when it comes to a conflict this energy is still in denial, refusing to see something. This energy is downplaying something and playing the blame game. For many of you, this person knows exactly who you are in their life, but they didn't realize how hard you were riding for them until it all stopped. Now, deep down, they want to apologize. They, they want to find some type of middle ground with you, but this energy doesn't. They clearly don't have the tools to give you the apology or the respect or the energy you deserve. Whatever it is that is long overdue, this energy is holding on but still doesn't have the tools to give it to you. This is why they're sitting in a space where there's challenges when it comes to a realization or understanding when it comes to how they finesse, manipulate it or try to screw you over. Now something is still there's no words and someone is still in a space where there's a need for change when it comes to a commitment this energy is still sidetracked for many of you this energy is holding on fingers crossed this energy has their fingers crossed but trust me they don't expect much because they know how much damage they cause it's just really hard to open up and confront it this energy is still chasing a thrill when it comes to their shame, their guilt, their remorse, their vibration. This energy cares more about their reputation, their status, their character, when it comes to how people see this something. But I feel something unexpected will bring some type of significance. Hmm. There's some type of importance when it comes to a shocking revelation when it comes to a third party or a situation that's about to get bigger, explode. Whatever thrill this energy is chasing is about to be their biggest mistake, their biggest source of pain and even regret as them being elusive when it comes to something that is unspoken, unsent, disappointment, loss. A ripple effect of something that is very significant is about to illuminate them to a truth of reflection and an honest heart. Someone's about to get a hard lesson of lost sacrifice through them being dishonest, through their own trickery, their own ways of being. They have caused some type of ripple effect when it comes to karmic de destiny and consequences as this energy is being illuminated to an inner knowing. Hmm. Wow. I feel like this is someone who is illuminated to something when it comes to a dark attachment where there will be a shift when it comes to someone doing something wholeheartedly from the heart. As many of you are already cautious when it comes to finding middle ground with someone who is yet to make amends with you, I feel it's just a, a long journey. Many of you have doubt. Hmm. You just want to come to terms with this. Hmm. But I feel this is someone who needs to cleanse their energy before they even have any kind of contact with you. And regardless of what anyone feels here in this connection, I feel this energy doesn't have access because of what's not healed around them or within them. Things are going to fall apart before it ever gets better. Because they already feel rejected by you. They feel intimidated. They feel you're unapproachable. But I feel it's rightfully so for someone who has just made something a long journey 
of exhaustion and fatigue where changes needed to be made when it comes to someone's outlook or attitude, their perception when it comes to love or things that they hold on to that leaves them weak and full of shame. I feel this is someone who needs to make better decisions when it comes to the ripple effect that they have caused in their life due to their denial and cycles of mistakes that they have yet to live or learn from. Hmm. But as I see in so many of my readings, we live and we learn. And this one, they're going to learn the hard way. Because unfortunately, when it comes to commitments and close bonds, some things just can't be fixed with an apology or an explanation. Because even though we all make mistakes, it's what they did after their mistakes that truly defined them. Causing many of you to allow the chips to just fall where they may when it comes to this energy letting things play out in order for their intentions to truly show. Because from what I can see, something very significant is about to happen when it comes to your intentions as well as theirs. And whether you're doing something or not, your silence is vital when it comes to someone who was never giving you the intention or the attention that you gave. As this energy always tends to fold when you look for something deeper in them, but I feel something within you or something you did or didn't say is very significant or very important in this situation. In fact, your silence or your dedication to self is vital when it comes to allowing them to suffer in silence. Because maybe somehow, some way, they'll find their way. But for others who have no choice but to deal with this energy due to relationship or bond or blood, my suggestion to you is to put pressure on it. In fact, put pressure on everything. Because if it ain't solid, trust me, it's gonna fold. 